uh, right off the bat, this has Destiny vibes with like this big circular cursor. Like it's not, uh, <clears throat> it's not like uh, tabbing through a menu. It's actually just moving a cursor around. Welcome to the Marvel's Avengers beta. Get ready to, oh. <laughs> it, it wasted no time in, in shoving Fortnite at me. The second regret to will give you the assemble nameplate or reward <gasps> for participating in the beta when you log into a game and launch for testing purposes. We've granted you 3,450 credits Use during the beta to personalize your heroes with items from the marketplace and challenge, car challenge cards. This will allow all players to start the full game with an equal selection of cosmetic items to pursue. Please note, no real money transactions can be made during the beta at any time. Purchase will carry the game and launch. Fortnite! Fortnite! Hulk has a belt, but it's not, it's like not connected to anything. Must have snapped. Enemy attacks are unable to be countered. It doesn't sound like fun. And I'm, I'm glad at least they, they say specifically this is what difficulty means in this game. But a game like this doesn't scale very well in, in terms of uh, in terms of difficulty. Don't be a puss. <laughs> All right, fine. It just makes the fights longer. It doesn't make them more interesting. It just makes them longer, but I'll do it. Their issues with, with difficulty scaling kind of reveal some of the more philosophically busted parts of the game design. Which is that if it's if it's supposed to be a mindless grindy game, it can't offer challenge. Like the only challenge it can offer is illusionary. Gotta admit, the uh, I, I do like the rhythm of combat and the sound effects are pretty solid. The animations look pretty good. Um, can't can't sneeze at that. The sound effects are actually pretty okay when it comes to like the charging up of the gun is nice and high, so you can hear it over combat and over the music. There's a there's a pretty recognizable off-screen indicator for that. The screen shake is fun for now. The 80th time I'm playing this level, like you know, I'm thinking in, just in terms of destiny strikes. Um, will not be fun. Like, all that shaking. Who we deal with here? They did not introduce themselves. Hang on, those guns are shield issue. I'll get Commander Hill on the line. Cap, they picked today for a reason. It just auto- I'm staying with the Chimera until we figure out what's going on. Woo! I feel like it's just been a while since we've had big, dumb explosion hallways in games. And I talk so derisively about them because they dominated game design ten years ago. Um, we've had a we've had a nice break, and I've appreciated it. But it's nice to see some explosions again that mean nothing and don't like have no gameplay implications whatsoever. I'm trying to do cool stuff, guys. <laughs> this is so, so weird. All right. Uh, uh. I'm back. Interesting way to handle that. Just from a pure gameplay perspective, there's not a lot of incentive to get in there and mix it up with anybody. Uh, if you're playing on a harder difficulty, you're just opening yourself up to damage. And, and for now, uh, ranged is actually much more effective. When I can hit stuff. Oh, yeah. oh okay. There's like death. All right, whose bright idea was this outfit? Shield trying to return. Tony. All oh, right, mine. This, I think, is going to be the first real test of people's willingness to endure these characters looking and acting a little bit different. It's obviously been a thing in comics for decades, you know? Reinventing characters, having a preferred version of a character. Not only will this be, like, uh, people's, people's big indoctrination to, like, big plot arcs coming to an end? Like, how do you, how do you go on and make things seem important after, uh, Endgame, you know? Um... And then people are just gonna be like, well, it doesn't, it just doesn't seem like it's the same. Because, yeah, it's not. You can't do it forever. So I'm curious. I'm very curious. I don't know. I feel like this is the kind of game that superhero games always were. You know? I think about some of my favorite su uh, superhero games. They're all beat em ups. Um, Maximum Carnage. Oh, Batman. This is a pretty effective intro, too, in, in really illustrating to you at least the visual difference in the way these characters fight. They feel fairly identical in terms of, uh, oh, okay, there's block. Animations read more like Cap, which is nice. He's just like, like American, you know, 1930s New York bare-knuckle brawler kind of guy, which I appreciate that. Okay, so yeah. 
There's a stun meter that goes into a uh, finisher. Awfully similar to 2018's God of War. It's not a, always a kill, though, so that's something, I guess. Tarleton. Tarleton. The same animation every time. Do you read? That'd be a cool thing to open up to, like, progression systems. Okay, no, we got something else there. But maybe you can buy, like, new finisher animations. That'd be cool. It's me, the Taskmaster. I don't know why they sound like skeletons. I'll hit him with my darts. Does he know I can't fly? Oh, you can just, you can just go wild on that, alright. She seems to have, like, slowdown after, uh, after, after late dodge. Okay, you get to see a game over in the intro. That's cool. Most games will not do that. These lines aren't very good. Yeah, Malcolm, like, that's the thing that kind of hit me about the trailers for the game is that every single line was a, the most comic booky line. I'm done talking. Coward. What's the matter? Don't like surprises? You didn't task this, did you, ma Master Tasker? Next time, take better notes. So, like, what are... I don't... This is too early to draw these conclusions, but I'm guessing... Widow's, like, a counter-based... Fighter? It's weird if they, like... If, are they dicing up all the, like, elements that are typically in a, a full fighting system and assigning them to different characters? Hundreds fell sick, encased in strange cocoons, only to emerge with dangerous, otherworldly powers. With no known cure, the disease has spread across the country. So wait. And while both Shield and the Avengers part of the setup to the game is that everyone is a mutant. Banner's testimony that brought about the so end that's, of an era. That's you weird because I I feel like transformed San Francisco. That's a setup so you can invent countless himself. like you mutants and villains or whatever. But if you have the license, why wouldn't you use existing mission. ones? Many. Alright, that could have been more cinematic, but whatever. We got it done. Oh, there was, like, health right here. Okay. Combat speed is still pretty slow, but it's Hulk. Maybe that's just how he plays. The cooldowns look massive. They are. Hulk is a very, like... Like... I'm trying to think of how to describe it. It does feel like kind of the beginning of God of War. Before you start getting a lot more combat options and movement speed. Um, so, you know, for all I know, when I unlock more stuff and level up, he might... The combat might start moving a whole lot faster. Skills... Look at all these six skills, man. There's so many six skills. Can you imagine? Can you imagine slowly filling up this grid? <sighs> you sit on your couch. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's gonna be so much lore. Every menu has three sub menus. Oh, so good. I think I found Mr. Stark's archive. I'm gonna try to get it open, okay? Oh, that looks cool. That's well animated. Which is weird considering that she doesn't, like, she. Looks like more trending towards photoreal. So her big gummy arms, like you'd think they'd look just horrible, but they don't. I actually really like them. Ah, that's neat. The fight mechanics they have are pretty good. Um, and at this at this moment, a little marred by like frame rate and camera issues. Some of the camera stuff is, is a little confusing, but. I, I respect the devs that made this, so... They didn't really give me any... Like, it's... Also, they didn't really, like, give me a window telling me what uh, Kamala's ability is. But I, I mean, I can probably look it up somewhere. Maybe. The camera, yeah, it's going a little wild. That's on me, I think. I was, I was moving back and forth a lot. The internet seems to kind of agree that we're all going to dunk on this. Which, I'm not, like... The internet gets that way. You know, it's not for me to lecture or anything, but it's like, I don't know. It does seem like it does seem like everyone's kind of ready to think it's bad. Um, and I guess to some degree, I get that given like the initial reveal. It's like, huh? It's obviously like you got you got the like knockoff, uh, the unwrongers kind of thing. You know, you got the uh, you got the the unlicensed toy range in your game. 
Uh, so I, I understand the, the practicalities of that. I guess that's just a, a weird taste that's going to take a while to flesh out of people's Jarvis? mouths, maybe. Maybe he... It's hard to accept something that is in the movies. I guess that I guess that makes sense to me, yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of used to superheroes looking and sounding different as the as the years go by. Maybe it's uh maybe it's just that the MCU run was so pristine and so good and so representative that it it kind of went deeper. Why display? Ooh, they're like full. I keep hitting I keep hitting options instead of trackpad. I wonder if there are full comics in here, if it's just the cover. View stats. Wait. Oh, those are my stats. Oh, you get you get stat bonuses for collection collecting things. That's alright. I like that. Okay, so it's just got it'd be nice if there were like a a uh, like a a plot summary. Or maybe a few panels or or something, but this is this is cool. I like that. I like that. It's like, the game breaks camera lock on all the time for you, like that. Camera lock on is broken. And you can't lock on whenever you want either. If there's like a canned animation happening or like Hulk's in not in neutral state, you can't lock on. It just doesn't do it. So like, gosh, this camera is, is taking a lot of nursing. You have to lock on like all the time if you want to play that way. Um, I don't know, I could play this. I could play this. Um, on PC though. I found the archive schematic. I think I can find my way to you. But I'm enjoying it. I am. I think even if I wasn't thinking about it like a uh, like a games of service platform, this is fun. It's fun enough. I gotta admit, I do love the narrated captions too. You get some nice herbs growing in here. Basil, thyme, maybe some oregano. Kamala strikes me as the kind of person who would grow herbs, but then only eat fast food. And then like the herbs would just overgrow and then there'd be flies. And then she'd throw it out and buy new herbs. <laughs> It's on an article likening it to Anthem? Gear no. you may have to better your chances of success. It it already runs better than Anthem. There's already more to do than Anthem, so don't worry about that. It's 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 actually falling into a niche that I kind of enjoy, which is a beat 'em up with uh, Destiny's like games of service structure. I like that. I like it. I wonder if it I wonder if it matches around the uh, difficulty you choose. Ah, you can. Okay. See, it's like... Alright. Let's say I want to equip gear. Like, I can't... Oh, wait. There's a... Never mind. Ah! God. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't think they expected me to, to, to go to that menu. I'm stuck. The game has soft locked. Okay, you know, that's that's alright. That happens. And I get to show off my sick wallpaper. Alright, we back in it. Is, is the beta open? I don't think so. Not yet. I was lucky enough to get a code uh, from one of the well, folks at Square. Yeah, beta's beta. Especially since it looked like I had overlapping tutorial menus. That, that like... That, that, that I know was like a... a a bullseye uh, of, a, of a QA intersection. But there better be lore about this. She got a different shirt too. She's like wearing a Thor shirt. This is pretty great though. See like this is a, this is an interesting vision of, of where this game goes. And I know for a fact the reason that like... The reason it's multiplayer is so they can pair you with people... Well, that's the, uh, that's the like copyright uh, conspiracy part of it. But you're playing with other people, they're gonna have their best skins equipped and then you're gonna want it, so then you go buy it. Loki turned, turned, Loki turned Thor into a frog one time. That's the lore. Okay, that's why she's wearing a Thor shirt too. I like it. Okay. That's good lore. 
I kind of wish that would be in the game. Maybe it is somewhere, but that's fun. I feel like I would enjoy this game the most if people could point out all the references to me, because I'm definitely not gonna not not gonna get them. How things going? Going quite well. Um, digging into Avengers, it's uh, trying to trying to get trying to wrap my brain around the the like depth the breadth of the experience, because um, they're still dribbling things into me, and I like that. I like being dribbled into. So uh, I what I didn't know what to. Th Why is it locked below brutal? I'm not allowed to play it any easier anymore. Not what I would have expected. Oh. Have more bread. I will, thank you. Oh, God. I'm just rating from 1 to 10. I cannot possibly answer that right now. Um, the, uh, the amount of content is going to determine a lot of that. In a game like this, that actually does matter. Uh, so I'd have to know, and I have no idea. Well, as you know, that this is delicious. Thoughts on Kamal's character so far? There's been there's been some eye rolls, but I think they're I intentional eye rolls. So the system. it's worse when a character's like that, but they don't know they're like that. Um, so the writing seems to at least acknowledge that she's she's a, a dork. Um, that's fine. For some reason, the framing means a lot to me. So it, she's she's not nearly as annoying as she could be. I love that a lot. And I think her voice acting is, is pretty good. Her, her like, combat gutturals and stuff are all, all pretty on point. Can't wait to see how Black Widow plays. Yeah, I played a little bit of her in the prologue. She seems to be kind of counter-focused. Her, her class ability is that she can grapple somebody in the, like, in the middle of, her, of their animation. And uh, if you do it during right animations, you'll, like, get a pretty extended stun on the enemy in addition to a damaging attack. So, uh, the way it's sort of shaping up is that, and this is a very, very early ass assertion, but it seems like Hulk is an AoE. Hulk is like, is AoE DPS. Kamala has a healing ability. Uh, so that means she's healer. Uh, I, I haven't seen healing abilities in anyone else. Um, but it, in Destiny style, can still do significant DPS. Um, I don't know Cap's deal, I don't know Iron Man's deal, and uh, yeah, I can I can see combat design where Black Widow has to, like, interrupt. Um, like, her, her job is to prevent uh, a boss's most damaging attacks from coming out. It's like, a, you know, like, interrupts in WoW or something like that. Um, I can see something like that going on. We'll see. Um... Cap just seems like a pretty straightforward DPS. Iron Man seems like ranged DPS, which may just be an assumption based on how I perceive the character archetypes in general, but that's just kind of how it feels. Maybe there's signs. Science lab. Technology lab. I'm guessing as you play through the story, this, this place opens up and becomes more vibrant. That'll be fun to see. All the boxes disappearing and people moving into their rooms again. Getting the gang back together. Ready. Powering up. Boom. Whoa. All right. Uh, oh. What? That's how they do Welcome this. Welcome to the holographic augmented reality machine. I'm Iron Man. Indeed. Why did they wait this long to tell me how to counter? Training begins now. R2 to blue indicator. Oh, okay. It's hard to... Oh, that must just be for Iron Man. That was splendid. Or does every character have that? Defensive abilities are limited by a hero hero's intrinsic energy. That's a weird thing to call it. Energy, you could just call it energy. Right? You know, whatever. Boy, would that would have been that would have been great. Yeah, three and a half hours ago, to know that. That's all right. It's okay. That tool would have been. Isn't that what you did with Widow? It is. I guess that's a good. N no, it's different with Widow, because Widow's is ranged. Um, and Widow is more like an interrupt, sort of. I guess. I guess it's it's maybe semantically different. Like Widow, you attack somebody with a with a thing and interrupt their attack. These, you have to time the press with the attack hitting you. Widows, as long as you grapple them while the indicator's up, you've countered them. Whereas this, the indicator shows up really early, 
and you have to time it with them hitting you. So it's, it is subtly different. But maybe R2 is, is just the universal counter button. It's just different characters do it in different ways. Um, how far am I in the game? Oh, let's see. I've been playing it for about three hours. It sounds like it's speaking in the general sense. It really does. So maybe maybe every character has a, a, a counter ability, which I was waiting for. This is a weird kind of mental loop to go through. What kind of bonuses can they give you? Um, if they give you better gear, then you do more damage and take less damage, and then it's not as hard. Um, maybe they can give you more currency. Like, that's kind of what I would prefer, is that they give you uh, in-game currency to unlock aesthetic stuff. That seems like a pretty innocuous way to, uh, yeah, as c cosmetic. Um, and, and maybe it's not that, like, you get specific rewards uh, for playing on harder difficulties, you usually get more currency. That way, like, okay, you can play on easy, but you won't get skins as fast. I don't know if it's that way, um, but that's that's the one thing I can think of that would be a pretty cool way to, to make people playing on harder difficulties feel a little more acknowledged. Jeez. Congratulations on the completion of Holographic Augmented Reality Machine Combat Training Simulation. More difficult harm room challenges have been unlocked and are available on the board table. What's up? Give me your plate because I have a pepperoni one. Oh dear. Another pizza? I, well, they also were like, here, you can make focaccia. And I was like, look, I have enough. Congratulations. You have unlocked the war table. The Marvel Legends beta. You have a glimpse into the story campaign's hero missions and have opened opportunities for you to explore war zones and the Avengers Initiative. Here you can launch missions alone with AI companions or enter the Quinjet to matchmake with friends. Try out each hero by replaying select war zones, then take your favorites and upgrade them with skills and gear to unleash their full potential. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. That is very good. How is loot? Is it satisfying to see numbers go up? Not yet. No. Not for me. Oh. Oh. Changed banner. Nice. Because the loot's not visible. Um, the more rewarding part so far has been buying skins and equipping them. Um, the loot is... At some point it might matter, but right now... Loot just kind of feels like... Like I just, ha I, I just have to go hit a button every so often. I have to go into my inventory and just be like, optimize. Like I just have to do that every couple minutes. It's not that rewarding of a process. I see potential... Uh, I see potential, is I guess what I would say. Um, I need to see, like... I don't know how much content's in the game, and really that's where my head's at right now. I'm usually not a is-there-enough-stuff kind of guy. Uh, I want to see more story missions, because the, the one story mission, like, the prologue is incredibly produced. It's, it's super custom content. It's presented to you in a very slick and cinematic way. Um... The, the mission after the, the prologue was pretty good, too. The one where you're, like, in the jungle beating up robots. At least there were more, like, curated levels. The third mission was we're dumping you in an open area with, a, with a, like, a mission objective in one spot. Just stand in a circle. And then you go to this underground area where you go into a room and beat up robots. Like, that was, like... If the, if the content after that is like that, um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a little... It's gonna... That might be a bit of a stretch, if the whole game is that. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. Uh, I will say that, like, the characters are fun to play as. And they feel different. They feel different. I can definitely see sitting down and being like, this feels like a Hulk knight. Or this feels like an Iron Man knight. So that's why, like, the base mechanics are actually pretty fun. Beta's free for PlayStation and those with pre-order on Xbox PC next week. Okay, thank you, Sonny. I appreciate that, uh, appreciate that information. Robots just for beta. Or, like, or is it just all robot enemies? Yeah. Those are all, those are all, yeah, perfectly valid questions. Was the Abomination fight fun? Yeah, that was alright, yeah. You fly so slow. Yeah, all the characters kind of move really slow. Specifically for being like superheroes and stuff. It's a little, it's a little weird. Like Hulk is real slow. Um. Ow. Are there a lot of playable heroes in this game? Um, there's five. There's five to be- Oh, okay. I keep forgetting about the right trigger. There's five to begin with. Um, they're adding Hawkeye and Spider-Man. Well, they're adding Hawkeye after launch. PlayStation platforms are getting Spider-Man. 
There's a lot I don't know about the the like nitty gritty mechanics of the game, um, but that 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 knowledge comes with time. Ah. Uh.